In this video series, we're going to look at creating a content management system in Angular and Firebase. So we're going to be using Angular for the front end and Firebase for our database, which is going to be real time. Uh, we're also going to use Firebase for hosting and for any assets and user accounts. So to start off, we're going to first create an application. And to do this, we do ngn and the name of our application. And we want to install this into the current directory. We're in. So we do dash dash directory equals dot slash. And that will create it in the current directory. So now it will ask us a couple of questions. Do we want to allow routing? So we say yes. And for this, we're going to be using SCSS. Okay, so now it's finished installing, we want to install two of the main packages that we're going to be using from npm. The first one's going to be semantic UI, and that's just going to be the CSS version. So we do npm install semantic dash UI dash CSS. And this will install just the CSS version because we want to use just the grid system and potentially the inputs for the forms. Uh, the grid system we use for semantic because I'm not a big fan of materials grid system. Uh, we'll import that into the Angular JSON file in a minute. Um, and the next one is material UI. So we're going to do ng add at angular slash material. So we're just going to go with the standard indigo pink for now. We want to install the typography. Um, we also want to enable animations. And that's installed material. So if we now do ng serve, uh, we should see the standard Angular HTML file here. Now the first time may, might take a little bit of time just for this to set up. So now that's finished, if we click on this link here, I'll bring this over, you can see that we have our basic Angular page here. Okay, so let's delete all of that and we're going to put a router out there here ready for our, ready for our routes. Um, and then what we want to do is pop into the angular.json file and inside of here we can see that we've imported Angular material. It does that automatically when you install it, but we also want to add our um, semantic UI. So we do node underscore modules slash semantic dash UI dash CSS. I think it's under dist. Let's just have a look. And we just want to import semantic.min.css from there. So semantic.min.css. Let's also copy this down to, if we scroll down under the styles here, uh, this will be for our testing. If we want to do any end-to-end -end testing on there. So that's saved. We can restart the application by pressing Control C. This should load a lot faster because we have the base files there. So I'm going to open up a new terminal window here. And this, at the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the routes. So what I've done here is I've created a little layout here. So we want an admin section, and inside there we want a dashboard, a posts, a single post, a media, pages, single pages, comments, appearance, tools, and settings. And then outside of there, we want a login and a register and a forgot password. Uh, so to do this, we're going to do this uh, with modules. So we're going to do ng generate module, and this is going to be called admin. And then we want the route to be admin and the module that it's going to be installed into will be app.module. I'll show you what that's doing after it's generated. Okay, so that's generated it. So under here, src app, we have new, now have a new admin section. If we go into app.routings.module, we can see that we have this admin path here. So what we'll want to do eventually is add children into here. Um, and when we go around to the admin section, we'll add things under children as well, just so they take on their parents' uh, layout. So let's bring up this list again, just so we got here. So we've got admin, now we want to do dashboard. So we do admin slash dashboard. The route will be dashboard. And that will be under the 
Uh, not sure. So this will install the module under admin. So if we go now go into here, we have admin and dashboard. And under the routes here, we have the dashboard uh, under the actual admin. So now let's do that for the rest of them. So posts, posts. Just call this one post, and the route is actually going to be post slash ID. That will allow us to get the ID parameter out of the route, uh, so we can actually get the ID and reference it from the database. Uh, next one's media. Then we're going to go with pages. Then just go with page on that one and go page I page slash ID. Same as good for posts. Comments. An appearance. and then lastly settings It'd be nice for someone to create a tool where we can do a mass mass generation of these so let's say for example we had a an object laid out like this that we could just inject that into this script here might do that in my spare time so settings I spelled that right And there's one that I did forget, which we need to add in. Users. Okay, and that leaves the last three, which is login, register, and forgot. So what I'm going to go is back to the original admin. I'm just going to add them the same level as that. So login, login, so for the login and register pages, I think what we'll do is we'll also enable the user to use uh, their Google address to log in their Google account um, just to make things more future proof. So I forgot passwords and forgot passwords. Okay, so now we can see that we've got under here, we've got admin, forgot password, login and register. And then under the admin section, we've got appearance, comments, dashboard, media, pages, posts, settings, tools and users. Cool. So we're just going to do, do a little bit of tidying up here. Um, what we want to do is for the router, we're going to create uh, an empty route. And this empty route is going to redirect to admin. Now it's going to redirect to login. 
So whenever we hit this route, it's just going to go directly to the login page. We will change that later on to go to the home page, uh, but just for now, it's just going to go to the login page. So under the admin routing, uh, what we want to do is under this one here, we actually want to add this children reference here. And this is going to take all of these ones that we've got underneath. We're going to pop all of those in as children. And then what we need to do is create another one at the top here where children is. And we want to create an automatic redirect to go to the dashboard. So the path is going to redirect to dashboard and the path match is going to be full. So as long as it's always empty, it's going to automatically redirect the dashboard. So we can test this one if we hit MG serve. We've already got it open here, failed to compile for some reason. So admin routing modules, that's missing the comma on the end there. I don't know if you call that. And that should now compile. So let's jump back into here. So if we go to the empty here, it will automatically redirect to login. And if we go to admin, it will automatically redirect to our dashboard. So if we jump now into the admin section and go onto the admin component, um, and add a router outlet here you'll be able to see what that's doing so we can see we're under the admin section but the router has taken us to the dashboard um, let's say for example we go to users we still get the admin wrapper um, but we're into the users as well so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be looking at actually fleshing out the content of the back end uh, so it looks and feels like a content management system. We won't be tying directly into Firebase for this one uh, yet. That will come later on. Uh, we'll do that all at once. We'll have some sort of mock server just set up for now, uh, just to get make things quick and easy. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, and the next video will be coming out very shortly.